cloud. And I, again, I threw these terms out here because they're all, I'm bundling them all under one umbrella. Hosted, cloud, um, unified communications as a service, or UCAS. Basically, again, same components, call processing and application, uh, unified communications applications now reside, reside in the quote unquote cloud. Or what's a cloud? It's just, it's, you're, it's a series of, hopefully a series, if, you, if you're going with a, the right cloud provider, data centers. Um, that that so you're not installing this equipment on site. Um, cloud providers should have again. If we can get into what cloud what what sort of attributes you should look at when you're looking at a cloud provider, should have multiple upstream connections to the the public switch telephone network um, and uh, redundant network connections and internet connections. Generally, multi-tenant topology. So it's a standard hardware, software, infrastructure, and then you have multiple images. So your particular organization be a, a logical or a virtual image or a tenant. Um, that is, is resides on that system. Um, and when you move to a cloud provider, you, just like when you're moving carriers, you port your number to the cloud provider. They own your main 800 numbers, they own your DIDs, and then you set up call flow and, and it's all handled in the cloud and delivers those, those communications to your IP handsets or your soft phones or um, whatever communication device you're using on site. Um, Picture of the cloud. This is an example of a two, two op, three offices, a home office, and maybe a regional and a headquarters office. Where basically we're just plugging in IP handsets and um, call control software, plugging into the network switch, and from there everything's in the cloud. You have your, your call processing, your application servers, um, redundant data centers, redundant connections to the public switch telephone network, redundant connections to the internet. So there's a lot of depending on the cloud provider, there should be a lot of redundancy built in. Um, I did add. One additional um, element on this uh, slide, and that's a billing engine, right? That's how they make money. They're going to bill you for you turning on or off certain applications or services. They're going to bill you perhaps for long distance usage or inbound 800 usage. So there has to be a billing engine that's integrated with that. 